Python. You are watching a skill basic user tutorial. This is Ravi here. Today I am going to explain about constant. Today I am going to explain about constant. So what is a constraint? So a constraint normally when we we'll go for constraint now. Whenever you are loading data from particular file or particular table to another table, that time the data it may be having duplicate rows or maybe null rows or some linked data. That data you want to restrict that. Okay. I don't want to load null value. I don't want to load duplicate value. So you want to restrict that to your database table level. So that time we'll go for constraint. That is called maintaining data quality at a table level. Maintaining a data quality at table level will go for constraint. So constraint will create a table, some columns. Maybe some constraint will create all the columns. Some constraint we can create only one column. That is depending on the constraint. There is a first constraint called not null. If you don't want to insert null values in your column, you can create not null constraint on your particular column more than one column you can create. That is called restricting null values. There is one more unique. So if you want to restrict duplicate values, if you don't want to insert duplicate values into a particular column, you can go for unique constraint. So unique constraint will accept null values. Why? Because one null is not equal to another null. So that's why it will accept null values then primary key. If you don't want to accept null plus unique, so if you don't want to accept null values plus duplicate values, that time you can go for primary key. Primary key is nothing but unique plus not null. Primary key is nothing but unique plus not null. But if you create a primary key on a table, it won't accept duplicate values, it won't accept null values, but it will act as a parent table. That will act as a parent table. For example, if you are creating a unique plus not null comes in one column, but that is not a primary key. Unique key plus not null key is not a primary key, but primary key will act as a both. That is called it won't accept null values, it won't accept root table. That is primary key, the combination of these two restrictions as well as it will act as a parent table. It will act as a parent table. There is a one more key, foreign key. Foreign key means it will go for child tables like parent and child relationship. For example, you have an order table. There you have one more table called order line. So one order can contain multiple lines. So order can create a primary key here. That primary key you will insert into order ID here. That is foreign key. Using a references. That is referring a parent table. The child table will refer parent table. So this lines should exist in parent. So without parent, there is no child. Without parent, there is no child. So that is called. We'll make a relationship for each table using primary key and foreign key. That's why primary key will act as a parent table. Foreign key will act as a child table. There is a one more type called check constraint. There is one more type called check constraint that is restricting some value. Normally we will go for check constraint restricting value like condition based, condition based or any filtering data. So that is for restricting some list of values. But then we will go for check constraint. So let's see about let's see about I have a two tables here. So two tables have that. I'm going to create a these two tables here. You can see test here, test B. There again I'm adding a primary key on test here. Primary key added. If you try to insert in this table, insert into test a value one comma 
मल्टीपल कॉलम That will call us composite primary key. Composite primary key. For example, I'm dropping this alter table. I drop. I drop this primary key here. Now I'm going to create only one one column. I'm going to create only one column. Again, if we create again, we will try that table can accept only one primary. Key. If you want to create two or three columns, you have to go for composite primary key. Means same key will be created on multiple columns like this. So you need to specify while creating. That is called composite primary key. Now roll back in this. So primary key already created. It is not accepting duplicate values. So that is called primary key. I am submitting this. Then go for other. To try to create primary and other columns here. Again, it will throw other figures. Table can have only the one. Then I am going to create a foreign key on second table and using references keyword foreign key at column name. Then using references. This is table alter that is called foreign key creator. Again, I am going to create a check function. This is check function alter table table name add check function salary greater than condition. It should allow only salary greater than total. Then if I go to insert the salary here, thousand. This check function will be done. So if you go, you should go for greater than. Now it is inserted. Now you can see here. Okay. Next we will try for foreign key table. Insert into test B table. Values. Two comma to insert it because two available in parent table. If I insert three, it will throw integrity constraint. Parent key not found. There is no third in parent. So without parent, there is no child. So that is the common inverse rule that is applying here. So if you are using the foreign key. That will refer to the parent. The parent is exists, it will accept. If parent does not exist, it won't accept. So that is called foreign key. So if you want to insert child value first, you should insert into parent. You have inserted parent. It have inserted child. Submit. Okay. Is that clear to you? So this is the way we will go for constant. Check constant. Okay. Then if you try to insert null, because primary key is nothing but unit plus not null. Okay. Not null. So not insert not null in this way because primary key is available. So if you if you not insert duplicate, you will say duplicate. So this is called not null primary key unit. Foreign key. Thank you for watching my videos.